Good morning, I'm Eyewitness News Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. What a soggy morning it has been. We've picked up already about a quarter to a half an inch of rain and will total between that half an inch and one inch by the time it moves out. The steadiest and heavy so the rain is this morning, but we'll still see some showers and drizzle that'll linger into the day and it'll be chilly. Highs between 45 and 50. Low pressure passing to the south of us, bringing the rain this morning. Front stays south as well. That means we're locked in with the cool air through the daytime today. 11 o'clock tonight, we'll be watching as that front finally starts to push northward as it does. Another round of showers possible into tomorrow morning. Now, Friday's not a washout, but we do have the risk of a passing shower or two out ahead of a cold front. That front's going to come through Friday evening and night, and it'll take our temperatures from spring-like warmth on Friday back to some cooler weather for the first weekend of spring. For tonight, our temperature is dropping down to the middle 40s. It's not going to change much compared to what we're going to be this afternoon uh, with mist and a shower around. Then on Friday, a warm and breezy day. High temperatures climbing into the upper 60s. The vernal equinox happening tonight. That's a little bit of good news. 1150 late this evening. It's the earliest Start of spring in more than 120 years. Looking at our hour by hour forecast tomorrow morning, starting off the day in the 40s. Look at these highs tomorrow afternoon, mid 60s inland, 50s at the coast, clouds and some partial sunshine, and again, the risk of a shower. The cooler weather back for the weekend, as we mentioned, Saturday's high near 50s, Sunday only in the low 40s.